In the previous lecture, we saw how Vue.js watches an array for changes and automatically re-renders the page to reflect the changes. Many of JavaScript's array functions change the array that you pass to them instead of returning a new array. This is the case for functions like push, splice, pop, shift, and more. What Vue.js does internally is that it wraps these functions in order for them to trigger view updates as we would expect. Otherwise, pushing an element to an array, as in the previous lecture, would not work, for example. I have loaded up the example from the previous lecture, because even though I told you that you didn't have to pay attention to the JavaScript code, there's actually something interesting to note. Notice the first line within the shuffle array method. This line uses the splice function to make a copy of the array that was passed as an argument. This is necessary, because otherwise Vue.js will not recognize the changes that are made to the array. Now why is that? Isn't Vue.js watching the array, and didn't I just say that it wraps the functions to recognize when we change the array, including the splice function? Yes, that's true, but there is one exception to this. That is changing an element's value by using the square bracket syntax. Let's see a simpler example of that. So I've opened up a new JS fiddle, and in this example, we simply have an array of numbers from one to five, which is output in an unordered list using the v4 directive. There is also a button which invokes a click event handler that changes the number stored at the second position to 10. What do you think would happen if I run this code and click the button? Let's try. As expected, we see an alert dialog with the new number indicating that the array element has indeed been updated to 10. But wait, the list has not been updated. Why isn't Vue.js updating the list now that it's watching the array for changes? This is actually a limitation of JavaScript which causes Vue.js to not being able to detect when the value of an array element is changed like this. That is, using the square bracket syntax to update an element at a specific index. Yeah, I know this is really not so nice, but what can we do about it? As of now, we have two alternatives. One is to use JavaScript's array function to accomplish the same thing, because Vue.js wraps these and therefore detects the changes. Another is to use a method provided by Vue.js named set. So let's see how that works. I will replace the statement that clearly didn't work with a new statement, which invokes view.set. So here we can write view.set. And this method takes three arguments. The first is a reference to the object or array on which we want to change a value, this.numbers in this case. We need to prefix with the this keyword because we're inside a method on our view instance. The second argument is the key that we would like to change. Because we wish to change an element within an array, in this case, this will correspond to the array index, in this case, the index 1. The last argument is the value that we want to set on the first argument, in this case, the number 10. Note that the reference that you pass as the first argument cannot be either a view instance or the root data object of a view instance. Running the code again, we'll see that the list is now updated as we would have expected in the first place. So in cases where Vue.js cannot detect changes made to your data, you can use the view.set method and Vue.js will happily trigger an update to your view. In this lecture, we saw a limitation of Vue.js's change detection, but saw how to deal with it by using the view.set method. We have been going through a lot of theory in the past lectures, so now it's time to write some code in a few exercises.